This is a list of Harrier jump jet family aircraft losses. Topic: Crashes by decade. Topic: 1960s. The 14th of December 1961 P.1127 XP836 was lost after a cold nozzle detached in flight and the aircraft became uncontrollable during approach to normal horizontal landing. Pilot Bill Bedford ejected unhurt. Aircraft hit a barn and caught fire. Point one two July one nine six one p point one one two seven xp nine hundred and seventy six flown by Hugh Merriweather was damaged after a main bearing failure and resultant fire warning caused an emergency landing to be made at Raf Tangmir. Landing heavily, the aircraft burst into flames. Merriweather got out unhurt, but the aircraft was badly damaged. Bearing failure caused compressor disintegration, the fragments creating a hole in the compressor casing. 16 June 1963 P.1127 XP831 crashes while flying at low speed and low altitude during a display at the 1963 Paris Air Show. Pilot Bill Bedford climbed from the aircraft unhurt. Crash was caused by a speck of dust in a nozzle control air motor, which caused momentary failure of the nozzles to follow pilots' commands while the aircraft was being mostly supported by engine lift. Point one, April 1965, tripartite evaluation squadron Kestrel FGA-1 XS-696 crashed on takeoff at RAF West Raynham, but did not catch fire, although blanketed by foam as a precaution. Point two, one, September 1967, tripartite evaluation squadron Kestrel FGA-1 XS-693 was abandoned two miles, 3.2 kilometers. From Boscombe down. Point two seven January 1969, RAF GR3 XV743 was abandoned over Dunsfold Aerodrome. Point four June 1969, Aeroplane and Armament Experimental Establishment ANAEE T2 XW174 abandoned after loss of power near Boscombe Down. Topic 1970s. Spanish operated Harriers The 11th of June 1976 EAV 8A Matador Serial 0082 crashed at Whiteman AFB USA on takeoff pilot ejected Topic UK operated Harriers the 11th of June 1970 ANAEET2 XW264 flew into ground after loss of control near Boscombe down point 6 October 1970 RAF GR1 XV796 abandoned after engine flame at Austin point 23 April 1971 RAF GR1 XV798 abandoned after loss of control in hover at RAF Wildenrath point 3 August 1971 RAF GR1 XV803 flew into ground following nozzle failure RAF Watersham point 1 January 1972 RAF GR1 XW918 of No. 4 Squadron crashed following loss of control in cloud at Tuschenbroich, West Germany. 21 March 1972 RAF GR1 XV802 flew into ground near Stadtoldendorf, West Germany. 26 April 1972 RAF GR1 XV749 abandoned over sea off Lincolnshire following bird strike. 1 May 1972 RAF GR1 XV777 abandoned during transition from hover at RAF Wittering. 4 May 1972 RAF GR1 XV794 abandoned after bird strike near Hutton, West Germany. 20 June 1972 RAF GR3 XW920 of No. 3 Squadron abandoned following a loss of engine power over Cape Frasca Ranges, Sardinia. 27 June 1972 RAF GR1 XV780 abandoned after engine fire near RAF Guttersloe, West Germany. 12 September 1972 RAF GR1 XV799 flew into hill near Kyle of Lock. Kelsch, Scotland. 9 July 1973 RAF GR3 XV792 abandoned after bird strike at RAF Wildenrath. 30 July 1973 RAF GR3 XV805 abandoned after bird strike near Coesfield, West Germany. 6 September 1973 RAF GR3 XV750 abandoned over Germany after engine cut. 24 September 1973 RAF GR1 XV739 of 1 Squadron was abandoned over Cyprus. 23 January 19 1974 RAF GR3 XV797 rolled out of control due to jammed flap and abandoned over Vredipil, Netherlands. 26 March 1974 RAF GR3 XV785 abandoned during landing at RAF Wildenrath, West Germany. 16 May 1974 RAF GR3 XV800 damaged beyond repair following bird strike at RAF Wildenrath. 1 December 1975 RAF GR3 XV788 abandoned following bird strike over Belize. 19 January 1975 
1976-2 RAF GR-3s XV-745 and XV-754 collided and crashed in Cheshire, England. Point one two March 1976 RAF GR-3 XV-746 flew into mountain in Norway. Point six July 1976 RAF GR-3 XW-770 abandoned after engine flame out near Borken, West Germany. Point one five December 1978 RAF GR-3 XV-801 abandoned after loss of control over West Germany. Point one eight July 1979 RAF GR-3 XZ-137 of number no. four squadron hit a house at Wismar, West Germany. Point two one September 1979 Two RAF GR3s XV756 and XZ128 collided over Cambridgeshire. Point four October 1979 RAF GR3 XW766 abandoned after control loss and crashed into wood near Ravensburg, West Germany. Point eight November 1979 RAF GR3 XV756 abandoned after being hit by ricochet over Holbeach Ranges. Topic: U.S. operated Harriers. The 18th of June 1971. A USMC pilot became the first U.S. serviceman killed in a Harrier crash when his AV-8A aircraft crashed into the Chesapeake Bay during a test flight. Point one five June 1974. A USMC pilot was killed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, when his AV-8A Harrier rolled during a landing. Point nine October 1974. The USMC pilot was killed at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina when the landing gear of his AV-8A Harrier collapsed upon landing causing his aircraft to skid off the runway and burst into flames. Point 2 February 1975. The USMC pilot was killed at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina when his AV-8A Harrier rolled and crashed during a vertical takeoff. Point 3 July 1975. A USMC pilot was killed near Bennettsville, SC when his AV-8A Harrier crashed while trying to help locate a comrade who had just successfully ejected from his own AV-8A which had lost power because of a mechanical problem. Point one six December 1976 A USMC pilot was killed when his AV-8A Harrier crashed into the Sea of Japan during a training flight. Point six April 1977 a USMC pilot was killed at Beaufort, SC as he set out to practice a vertical takeoff while heavy crosswinds battered the runway. 12 July 1977. A USMC pilot was killed when his AV-8A crashed into the Atlantic during a demonstration for several high-ranking government officials, including Navy Secretary Graham Clater Jr. and Bert Lance, then Director of the Office of Management and Budget who were observing from the carrier Saratoga. 26 July 1977. A USMC pilot was killed when his AV-8A Harrier descended into the Bay River in the rain and exploded. 6 September 1977. A USMC pilot was killed at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, when his AV-8A Harrier flew into a mountainside during a bombing training run. 2 October 1978. A USMC pilot was killed when his AV-8A Harrier crashed in the Chocolate Mountains east of California's Salton Sea during a bombing training run. He flew into the ground inverted. 10 October 1979 At EAF 29 Palms, MCAGCC 29 Palms, lifted off about 100 and dropped into the aluminum runway, pilot went down with aircraft but suffered only a broken nose. 12 October 1979 A USMC pilot was killed during a training flight over the Atlantic just off Cape Lookout, NC. His AV-8A Harrier hit the water at a steep angle and high speed. Topic nineteen eighties. Topic Indian operated Harriers. The fourth of May, nineteen eighty eight. Indian Navy Sea Harrier IN six hundred and one crashed near Goa. Pilot killed. Point two seven June, nineteen eighty eight. Indian Navy Harrier T sixty IN six hundred and fifty two crashed. Crew ejected. Topic: Spanish operated Harriers. The 28th of May 1980, EAV-8A Matador, serial 0081 crashed, unreported location. Point two two October 1984, AV-8S Matador, unreported serial crashed at Rota, pilot ejected. Point two nine July 1986, AV-8S Matador. Unreported serial crashed at Rota. Point one eight December nineteen eighty nine. EAV eight B nine Matador serial o one nine o one crashed unreported location. Topic 
Topic: <laughs> UK operated Harriers. The 12th of March 1980. RAF GR3 XW765 abandoned after bird strike over Doved, Wales. Point one four October 1980. RAF GR3 XV792 rolled over and crashed while in the hover at RAF Guttersloe due to fatigue in a control rod from the starboard aileron to the starboard roll reaction shutter. Pilot ejected at approximately 100 feet with aircraft in 80 to 90 degree of bank but seat was outside its performance envelope. 28 October 1980. RAF GR3 XV761 abandoned over Germany following bird strike. The 1st of December 1980. RNC Harrier XZ454 hit ramp of HMS Invincible with starboard outrigger after attempting to hover with full fuel carrying BBC cameras. Pilot ejected safely. The 22nd of May 1981. RAF GR3 XZ139 of number no. 3 squadron abandoned near Sogel, West Germany after tailplane control rod disconnected. 26 May 1981. RAF GR3 XW923 of No. 1417 flight crashed into trees after failing to gain height during vertical takeoff at Belize Airport. 14 July 1981. RAF GR3 XV807 flew into tree near Georgeville, Belize. 12 February 1982. RAF GR3 XZ973 of 233 operational conversion unit flew into hill near Corwin, Wales. The 4th of May 1982. Royal Navy Sea Harrier FRS-1 XZ450 crashed after being hit by 35 mm cannon shells during a photographic sortie after earlier bombing raids on Goose Green airstrip. Pilot killed. The 6th of May 1982. Two Royal Navy Sea Harrier FRS-1s XZ452 and XZ453 of 801 NARS on combat air patrol from HMS Invincible of the Falklands Task Force collided in poor visibility, killing both pilots. 21 May 1982. RAF GR-3 XZ-972 crashed after being hit by a blowpipe missile during an armed reconnaissance over Port Howard. 23 May 1982. Royal Navy Sea Harrier FRS-1 ZA-192 crashed into the sea following an explosion on departing from HMS Hermes. Pilot killed. 27 May 1982. RAF GR-3 XZ-988 of No. 1 Squadron crashed following being hit by gunfire during an attack on Goose Green. 29 May 1982. Royal Navy Sea Harrier FRS-1 ZA-174 slid off the deck of HMS Invincible into the sea in bad weather. Pilot recovered. 30 May 1982. RAF GR-3 XZ-963 of No. 1 Squadron crashed into the sea after running out of fuel. Aircraft had been hit by small arms fire west of Port Stanley. 1 June 1982. Royal Navy Sea Harrier FRS-1 XZ-456 crashed into sea after being hit by a Roland missile during an armed reconnaissance mission south of Stanley Airport. 8 June 1982. RAF GR-3 XZ-989 of No. 1 Squadron damaged beyond repair landing on a metal strip runway at San Carlos, Falkland Islands. 29 June 1982. RAF T4 XW272 flew into trees on takeoff at Nergen Hona Ranges, West Germany. 6 November 1982. RAF GR3 XW767 abandoned following engine failure and crashed in sea off Falklands Island. 23 February 1983. RAF GR3 XV795 and T2 XW926 collided over Cambridgeshire. 22 March 1983. RAF GR3 XV787 abandoned over Falkland Islands after engine flameout. 3 May 1983. RAF GR3 XZ134 of No. 3 lost power during takeoff and crashed at Stormede, West Germany. 28 October 1983. RAF GR3 XV742 of 233 operational conversion unit flew into the sea on Holbeach Range. 19 November 1983. RAF GR3 XV762 flew into high ground in Falkland Islands. 3 June 1984. RAF GR3 XZ135 of Number no. 4 Squadron crashed after catching fire in the hover during a flying display at Grossestheim. 29 November 1984. RAF GR3 XZ993 of No. 1453 flight abandoned after bird strike at Port Stanley, Falkland Islands. 18 February 1985. RAF T4 XW933 of No. 3 Squadron collided with Germany Air Force F-104G over Bad LAER, West Germany. 19 November 1985. 
RAF GR-3 of No. 233 Operational Conversion Unit rolled and was damaged during vertical landing at RAF Wittering Point 17 June 1986. RAF GR-3 of No. 233 Operational Conversion Unit was abandoned following an electrical failure on approach to Yeovilton. 28 June 1986. RAF GR-3 abandoned when control was lost in hover at Chivra.22 October 1987. BAE GR-5 lost over the sea while on a pre-delivery test flight from BAE Dunsfold. The pilot was inadvertently removed from the cockpit by the seat separation drogue gun, leaving the Harrier to fly UN manned with the broken canopy attached. The aircraft was intercepted by a passing USAF Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, to check for signs of life, before crashing in the Atlantic Ocean off the Irish coast, due to fuel exhaustion. 2 November 1987 Two RAF GR-3s XV790 and XZ136 collided over Otterburn Ranges.20 May 1988 RAF GR-3 XV-809 hit trees following loss of control after entering clouds on takeoff at RAF Guttersloe.18 August 1988. RAF GR-3 XW-921 of No. 3 Squadron crashed into wood near RAF Guttersloe after engine fire on takeoff.20 June 1989. RAF T-4 XW-925 of No. 4 Squadron abandoned after loss of control at RAF Guttersloe. Topic. U.S. operated Harriers The 13th of March 1980 A USMC pilot was killed after he flew into a 200-foot thick cloud at the start of a short trip back to base at Cherry Point, North Carolina when his AV-8A Harrier simply went into the water without explanation. Point 1 May 1980 A USMC pilot was killed during a vertical takeoff at Cherry Point, North Carolina. Considered one of the most spectacular crashes in Harrier history, his plane rolled, dropped to the runway, bounced into a ditch, burst into flames, flipped, slid through a hangar and into a parking lot, where it damaged 20 vehicles, without explanation. 19 January 1981. A USMC pilot was killed while practicing a vertical takeoff at Cherry Point, North Carolina. He was the new commanding officer and wanted to be familiar with every plane under his new command. Investigation concluded that he had stayed with the plane too long trying to save it and had ejected too late. 26 June 1981. A USMC pilot was killed during a demonstration flight being viewed by the amphibious assault ship, Tarawa. On the second pass his AV-8A Harrier narrowly missed the ship and went into the water without explanation. Given his extensive experience with the craft, investigators decided that the presence of his fiancée on the Tarawa somehow caused the crash. 3 December 1981. A USMC pilot was killed on the next to last day of a month-long training exercise in California when his AV-8A Harrier crashed in the desert during a practice bombing run near 29 Palms. Investigation was inconclusive, but he had previously reported, complained that the radar altimeter was inoperative. 26 January 1982 a USMC pilot was killed in a training flight in Yuma, AZ when a fuel tank imbalance 2,800 pounds on left, 1,200 pounds on right resulted in a crash during his emergency landing attempt. That AV-8A had experienced fuel tank problems twice previously, but the mechanical problem had not been properly resolved before this flight. 5 March 1982 A USMC pilot died the day after he crashed at Cherry Point, North Carolina while attempting to land his AV-8A Harrier. Cause undetermined. 24 September 1982. A USMC pilot was killed when his AV-8A Harrier crashed into the North Sea near Germany shortly after he took off from the USS Nassau LHA-4 during a training exercise. Navy officials said they cannot find the investigative reports on the incident. 1 December 1982. A USMC pilot was killed during a practice bombing run at MCAS Yuma. The cause of the accident is not known. 27 April 1983. A USMC pilot was killed due to a jam control stick during vertical takeoff from Cherry Point, North Carolina. The student ejected safely. The TAV-8A had crashed previously and been rebuilt. A metal hose adapter had been left beneath the cockpit floorboard and caused the stick to jam. 25 April 1985. A USMC pilot was killed while practicing dog fighting maneuvers at Fallon Nars when his AV-8A Harrier could not recover from being banked severely. 12 August 1987. A USMC pilot and a flight surgeon were killed when the pilot's seat unexpectedly ejected during a training flight over Pamlico County, North Carolina. 
The flight surgeon then ejected himself, but too late and hit the ground before the parachute could deploy. Point one March 1988. A USMC pilot was killed during an air to air combat training run. His plane crashed in the News River near Cherry Point, North Carolina. 13 July 1988. A USMC pilot was killed seconds after takeoff from Cherry Point, North Carolina when his flaps malfunctioned due to an electrical short. 3 May 1989. A USMC pilot was killed during a short takeoff, a complicated maneuver for an inexperienced pilot. The AV 8B Harrier's nozzles were reportedly not set properly for the maneuver, followed by ejecting too late. Topic: 1990s. Topic: Indian operated Harriers. The 9th of June 1992, Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS 51 IN 619 crashed. The pilot was unharmed. Point 9 December 1992. Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS 51 IN 612 point 8 February 1996 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS 51 IN 620 missing during night flying over C.30 September 1997 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS 51 IN 611 according to Indian media reports as many as 16 out of a total 31 Indian Navy Sea Harriers were destroyed in crashes which claimed 7 pilots over a 2 decade period up to 2007 Spanish operated Harriers The 23rd of January 1990 EAV-8A Matador serial unknown crashed at Rota pilot killed 26 November 1993 EAV-8A Matador serial unknown crashed location unreported 13 May 1994 EAV-8B9 Matador Serial 01810 crashed off Mallorca Island. Pilot ejected. Point one nine February 1994. EAV-8A Matador. Serial 01902 crashed. Location unreported. Topic: <laughs> UK operated Harriers. The 25th of September 1991. RAF T4 XZ147 of number 233 operational conversion unit crashed after low-level bird strike near Driffield, Yorkshire. Both crew ejected and survived, but one, a female university officer cadet, was seriously hurt. Point seven February 1992. RAF GR3 XW927 was damaged beyond repair in a heavy landing at RAF Guttersloe. Point one four May 1992. RAF GR3 XZ990 crashed at RAF Wittering after loss of engine power in hover. 24 November 1993. And RAF GR7 crashed due to mechanical failure in northern Iraq during a patrol as part of Operation Northern Watch. After safely ejecting from his crippled Harrier, the pilot was rescued by a U.S. helicopter, approximately 100 miles inside Iraq, and returned to Insulik. 16 April 1994. Royal Navy FRS-1 XZ-498 operating from the light carrier HMS Ark Royal shot down by a SAM fired by the Army of Republica SRPSKA, most probably Estrella II, near Gorajda. The pilot, Lieutenant Nick Richardson ejected and landed in friendly territory controlled by Bosnian Muslims. 23 February 1996 Royal Navy Harrier T-4A XZ-445 from 899 NARS crashed near the Merry Harriers Inn, about 6 nanometers south of Taunton, Somerset about 2 miles west of RAF Culmhead. The pilot, LTCDR Michael Auckland, and the flight engineer, CPO Stephen Brooks were both killed in the incident. 18 December 1998 RAF GR-7 ZD-434 from RAF Wittering crashed near the village of Stainedrop, 3 miles NE of Barnard Castle. The pilot, Group Captain David Horwood, was killed in the accident. 9 January 1997. ZD-377, and RAF Harrier GR.7 crashed at Larbrook. The burning aircraft ended up inverted on the runway. 29 January 1999. ZG-856, and RAF Harrier GR.7 crashed at Nellis Air Force Range during Red Flag exercise. The pilot ejected successfully but suffered serious injuries. 9 July 1999 and RAF Cottesmore-based Harrier crashed near Boston, Lincolnshire, after the pilot made a successful ejection. 14 July 1999. And RAF Harrier GR-7 crashed near Cornhill on Tweed, Northumberland. The pilot ejecting moments before impact. 
Topic: <laughs> U.S. operated Harriers. The 26th of January 1990. A USMC pilot was killed on a training flight from Kadena Air Base on Okinawa to Osan Air Base in South Korea. His AV-8B Harrier fell from 35,800 feet, sliced through a cloud bank and disappeared into the water without explanation. Neither plane nor pilot was ever found. Point one two February 1990. A USMC pilot died and a reconnaissance observer was hurt when they ejected almost simultaneously from separate aircraft during training missions at the Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center 29 Palms, 29 Palms, California. The pilot was killed after ejecting from his AV-8B Harrier II, Bunno 163187, from VMA-223, based at MCAS Cherry Point, North Carolina, which crashed in a remote area. The aerial observer who ejected from North American OV-10 Bronco, suffered minor injuries. The Bronco landed safely. Point 2 October 1990. A USMC pilot was killed during a low-altitude flight over a dense North Carolina forest after ejecting from his AV-8B Harrier. He hit the trees before his parachute opened. The 18th of January 1991. A USMC AV-8B is shot down by anti-aircraft artillery. Point 22 January 1991. A USMC pilot was killed conducting a training mission during the Persian Gulf War when he smashed into the Omani coastline while approaching the deck of the amphibious assault ship Nassau for a landing. Point 9 February 1991. A USMC AV-8B is shot down by a surface-to-air missile. Point two three February 1991. A USMC AV-8B is shot down by a surface-to-air missile over Kuwait. Pilot is killed. Point two seven February 1991. A USMC AV-8B is shot down on the final day of the Persian Gulf War by anti-aircraft artillery. Pilot Woody is killed. Point one one November 1991. A USMC pilot was killed after he steered away from the Spanish village of Villagacha de la Torre and ejected with the plane upside down. His parachute broke away before he reached the ground. The investigation determined that a problem with the ailerons caused the crash but offered no explanation for the parachute failure. 0 29 June 1992. The pilot from VMA 214 was killed after his parachute veered into the fireball created at the Davenport Municipal Airport in Iowa when his AV-8B Harrier exploded at the end of the runway during an aborted takeoff attempt. 16 August 1992. A USMC pilot was killed while simulating bombing runs in the desert of Kuwait. Cause not determined. 19 August 1992. A USMC pilot was killed during a training flight that began at Cherry Point, North Carolina when his AV-8B Harrier crashed in shallow water in Pamlico Sound. Cause not determined. 10 August 1993. An AV-8B Harrier II crashed on the runway at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina after the flap electronic control module suffered from moisture ingress. Erroneous flap scheduling led to an uncontrollable descent. The pilot ejected before impact but he descended into the fireball causing fatal injuries. 0 30 January 1995. A USMC pilot disappeared at night over the Indian Ocean 140 miles off the coast of Somalia. A three-week search for the pilot and plane ended without success. 18 September 1995. A USMC pilot was killed during a night training run in North Carolina when his AV-8B Harrier clipped another Harrier in the formation and crashed into the News River. 16 February 1996. A USMC pilot was killed shortly after takeoff from Cherry Point, North Carolina, when his AV-8B was apparently struck by lightning. 7 October 1996. A USMC pilot was killed during a training mission over California's Chocolate Mountains when three bombs, all with expired fuses, detonated prematurely aboard his AV-8B.22 April 1998. A USMC pilot was killed after ejection during a training flight over the Imperial Valley when his AV-8B Harrier engine failed. His seat rotated out of position and his parachute harness straps fatally snapped against his helmet. 2 May 1999. A Harrier, returning to USS Kursage crashed into the Adriatic Sea whilst on a training mission, after the pilot ejected. 30 August 1999. A USMC pilot was killed after his AV-8B Harrier lost power over Death Valley National Park. He ejected but hard landed in rocky terrain and died of a head injury. Power loss was found to be due to a wrong-sized washer having been installed. The problem had been discovered three years before, but his plane was among those not yet inspected for it. Topic two thousands. Topic Indian operated Harriers. 
the 25th of May 2001. Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS-51 crashed at Fadkivam, pilot ejected. Point two four August 2003 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS-51 crashed into sea during landing. Point one seven December 2004 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS-51 crashed during a hover landing at Dabolam. Point five December 2005 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS-51 pilot killed. Point five April 2007 Indian Navy Harrier T-60 crashed into the sea near Goa, crew ejected, one rescued one killed. Point nine September 2007 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS-51 crashed into sea during carrier landing, pilot ejected. Point two four December 2007 Indian Navy Sea Harrier FRS-51 crashed at Dabolam, pilot ejected. <laughs> Italian operated Harriers The 4th of March 2002 AV-8B+, serial MM7216 over 1-10, with O after off runway landing at Grottiger Air Base, pilot unharmed. Topic: Spanish operated Harriers. The 12th of April 2003, EAV-8B Matador, serial 01921, crashed location unrecorded. Topic: UK operated Harriers. The 2nd of August 2002. RAF GR7 ZD464 crashed into sea while hovering during a performance at the Lowestoft Seafront Air Festival, Suffolk. The pilot ejected before crashing into the sea and was later rescued by a lifeboat. The pilot made an error when he retarded the throttle instead of moving the nozzle lever to the hover stop position. He had then moved his hand to lower the landing gear when he noticed the engine note change. He advanced the throttle but unwittingly moved the nozzle lever forward, causing a sudden loss of altitude. The crash was caught on video. Point five December two thousand and two. RNT eight crashed on takeoff at RAF Wittering, Cambridgeshire. One pilot killed. The fourteenth of October two thousand and five. RAF GR seven A was destroyed and another damaged in a rocket attack by Taliban forces while parked on the tarmac at Kandahar. No one was injured in the attack. The damaged Harrier was repaired at the airfield while the destroyed one was replaced by another fighter which flew out from Britain on the same evening. 13 July 2006 RAF GR9 crashed near Oxford Airport whilst transitioning to RAF Fairford for the 2006 Royal International Air Tattoo. The pilot ejected safely and was rescued. The crash was caused by pilot error. 16 June 2008 and RAF GR7 crashed at around 1.50 p.m. near the village of Ashwell, in an unpopulated area of Rutland, after the pilot ejected shortly before landing at RAF Cosmore. 14 May 2009 A British Harrier GR9A jet crashed in Afghanistan, the Ministry of Defense said. The pilot is believed to have suffered only minor injuries when he ejected from the aircraft after it came down at Kandahar Airfield at about 10.30 a.m. local time. It is believed there were no other casualties. It is thought that the RAF pilot ejected after he could not land the aircraft properly. The landing gear was not fully extended. U.S. operated Harriers The 15th of April 2000 U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier crashed during a weapons and tactics instructor WTI training mission in the Chocolate Mountain Ranges in Arizona. Pilot ejected but sustained head and shoulder injuries and lost an eye. 3 February 2001. U.S. Marine Corps TAV 8B Harrier crashed as it neared touchdown on a base runway at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, killing two aviators. 1 April 2003. AV 8B Plus Harrier 165391 of HMM 263 crashes off USS Nassau in the Persian Gulf during the 2003 invasion of Iraq. The pilot was rescued. 6 December 2005. USMC AV-8B from Marine Attack Training Squadron 203 out of Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point crashed approx 20 miles east of St. Augustine, Florida. Captain Jason Thompson safely ejected and was rescued by the United States Coast Guard. 27 November 2007 U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier with VMA-513 crashed near Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Arizona, with the pilot ejecting safely. 
The crash occurred during a routine training mission. Point one three February two thousand and eight. USMCA V-8B Harrier II from VMA-542 crashed at the open ground farms in Carteret County, North Carolina. The pilot was able to safely eject. Point one five May 2008 U.S. Marine Corps TAV-8B Harrier II from VMAT-203 crashed while on a training mission in southern Arizona, with both pilots ejecting safely. Point two nine December 2008 U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier with VMAT-203 crashed in an unpopulated area approximately one mile east of the air station near NC Highway 101, killing the pilot. The crash occurred while returning from a routine training flight. Topic 2010s. Topic Italian operated Harriers. The 14th of July 2010. AV8B Plus Harrier 2 serial MM7221 over 1-15 crashed in the Jonian Sea off Calabria due to technical problems. Pilot ejected safely. Topic: US operated Harriers. The 18th of July 2010. U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier crashed in an unpopulated area of the Ocala National Forest in Florida. Point two nine March 2011. U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier deployed with 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit (MEU) embarked aboard amphibious assault ship USS Boxer (LHD-4) crashed into the water during takeoff for a routine training flight while operating in the Arabian Sea. Point two five July 2012. The U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier crashed shortly after takeoff for a routine training flight over an unpopulated area near Felicity, CA-14 September 2012. Militants breached the perimeter of the sprawling Camp Bastion base in Helmand Province of southern Afghanistan in the September 2012 Camp Bastion raid, destroying six U.S. Harrier AV-8B aircraft and damaging a further two. Three aircraft refueling stations and a number of aircraft hangars were also badly damaged. The offensive took place near an airfield on the northeast side of the base, which houses U.S. forces in Camp Leatherneck. The attack also claimed the lives of two U.S. Marines. Point nine May 2014. A U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier jet crashed in an unpopulated area of the desert south of Phoenix, Arizona. Point four June 2014. A U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier jet crashed into California homes. Pilot ejected safely. Point six May 2016. The U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier, from Marine Attack Squadron 542, Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, crashed in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina circa 1705 hours. The pilot ejected safely and was rescued. Point two two September 2016. A U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier jet crashed into the ocean after taking off from U.S. Kadena Air Base. Point three April 2018. A U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier jet crashed in Djibouti shortly after takeoff. The aircraft was part of a detachment attached to Marine Medium Tiltrotor Squadron 162, or VMM-162, part of the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, which was in the East African country for the annual Alligator Dagger Amphibious Warfare Exercise. The pilot ejected and received treatment in a hospital. See also. Related lists List of VTOL aircraft